And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. I'm here in New York City this month and I'm actually gonna show you in today's tutorial how I shot and edited a really cool boomerang masking video that I shot just a couple days ago. The black on my skin is my this that melanin is shit cause my skin black Dominican is it but that's still black Heard what I said, yeah that's big facts Some of the people they don't get that Okay, quick side note, in this tutorial that you're watching I'm gonna explain in full how I made this effect in addition, I have three more tutorials that you can actually see on Adobe's YouTube channel, link below, where I'm gonna talk about three really cool new features in Premiere Pro that I use to automate my workflow and make it more efficient. I've actually had a really great time in the city in the last few weeks. Last month, we actually hosted our very first channel meetup in like three years. I got to hang out with a lot of dope friends and I shot a ton of tutorials. During our last week in the city, Adobe actually hit us up and challenged us to create a really cool, artistic piece. And they also wanted us to create a tutorial showing you guys how we did it. So immediately I call one of my best bros, Amir, and he connects me with this really cool rapper called Noah. After that, I took the subway over to the B&H Superstore and I got a $270 Ronin SC stabilizer. And I slapped my Sony 6400 onto it. Shooting was pretty straightforward. I had Noah pose the exact same way in three different locations. A green field in front of a fountain in Washington Square Park and in Times Square. I then did a half arc around him with the camera. A helpful tip might be to make sure that your movement is perfectly consistent in all three locations. You gotta make sure that the subject is always perfectly in the center. I chose to film wide and then in 4K to give me room for digital stabilization in post. So bringing the footage into Premiere Pro, the very first thing that I did was I added warp stabilizer onto the footage to smooth out all the shakiness. The second thing that I did was I actually stacked all the footage on top of each other so that all of the rotating Noahs synced in all three locations. I had to go in after the fact and actually keyframe the scale and the position of most of the tracks to make sure that Noah's position and size would align perfectly in all three locations. Temporarily lowering the opacity of the top track made it easier to see if the lower tracks were aligned underneath. Next, I highlighted all the footage and I brought it into After Effects by clicking Replace with After Effects Composition. Now in After Effects, I chose to duplicate the time score footage by pressing Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac. I then used the amazing Roto Brush 2 tool to cut out Noah from the background on this duplicated time score footage. I double clicked on the clip to activate the layer window, clicked on the Roto Brush button, and began drawing inside of Noah's body. This created a thick green line which signaled to After Effects where the edge of Noah's body was. I then went frame by frame until Noah was outlined for the entire duration of the clip. If I made a mistake, I can undo what I did by just holding down Alt while continuing to draw. Now here's a few Rotor Brush 2 tips. Number one, make sure that your sequence settings match your clip settings for the best results. Number two, add some feathering to smooth your mask edges. Third tip is to use Shift Edge in the negative direction to help remove any background from peeping out or outlining the subject that you're actually trying to cut out. And last tip is to utilize Reduce Chatter to eliminate the amount of crazy fluctuations on the edge of your cut. After you're done, click Freeze and allow After Effects to analyze the footage. Then click back on your composition window. Next, I just went and searched on my hard drive for a random textured animated background. You can find a lot of royalty free or just free animated backgrounds on YouTube that you can just download. I then brought this red background into After Effects and placed it on the bottom track. So now I have this textured background. Then on top of that, I have the time square footage. Then on top of that, I have the cutout of Noah. Then on top of that, I have the green field footage. And then on top of that, I have the fountain footage. The next part is actually pretty easy. I started off with just the red background and then I moved the cutout of Noah into the frame by keyframing the position. Soon after that, I just keyframed the mask path of the masking effect that I had on each clip to cut out different sections of the four synced clips. And then I just chose which parts I wanted to reveal at different times. To create and animate a mask, all you gotta do is first click on the clip and then click on the rectangle tool and then draw a mask on your clip. And then click on the stopwatch next to the mask path and begin to add keyframes. Change the parameters of your mask as you scrub through the clip and then watch it animate itself. The last part is honestly just up to you. Everyone one's animated mask is gonna look different. And here is the final piece again. The black on my skin is my this that melanin shit cause my skin black. Dominican is it, but that's still black. Heard what I said, yeah, that's big facts. Some of the people they don't get that. Hell of a problem, we gotta fix that. Tell I hit it, get back, get back, make it sound crazy. That made what's wrong with y'all lately. I hope you're not feeding that poison to all of the babies. Gotta hit this on the daily. Though they can't call no more like stupid ass Amy. This ain't driving Miss Daisy. Uh please read up, but don't be late. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and check out the three additional tutorials that we actually have on Adobe's channel below in the description. Check those links out. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.